Hi, I'm Terry Vanoy and welcome here in this video series. We're talking about algebra word problems when it involves work. Now I've gone over the basics, the basic structure of these kinds of problems and how to write the equation and solve. And you're in the second problem set. This is problem set two and um, basically focusing on a little variation of these kinds of work equations. So here's what we've got. Just a little review in case maybe you're jumping right into this video and haven't seen the previous two. But we're going to be talking about how long it takes someone to do a job by themselves. Someone else does the job in a different amount of time and together they can do it in a certain amount of time. So it's actually a ratio of 1 over a person A's work time plus 1 over person B's work time equals, because we're adding them together, equals the total amount of time it takes them together. So that's the structure of the kinds of equations that you have to do here. Now I'm going to give you two problems to try, so I'll let you look at it, read it, you try it on a piece of paper, and come on back and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so if you're pretty comfortable with it, I want you to try numbers 21 and 22. Read it carefully. Again, work on a piece of paper and see if you can get the answer. Good luck. Number 21. Working alone, Stefan can dig a 10 foot by 10 foot hole in 8 hours. One day, his friend Daniel helped him and it only took 4.44 hours. How long would it take Daniel to do it alone? All right, so this first fraction, let's represent the amount of work Stefan can do, and that is 1 over 8. He can do it by himself in 8 hours. This fraction here will be how long Daniel can do it by himself, and we are being asked that. That's our unknown, and we'll call it x. Now, you can call that a d or whatever variable you want. It doesn't really matter. Well, that's supposed to be an x right there. Now, together, how long can they do it? 4.44. So to get rid of the fractions, I look at my denominators and I'm basically going to throw them all together. 8 times 4.44 times x. All right. So here I have 8 in the first fraction. So the multiply the multiplication I'm going to do is on the top here 4.44x. Okay? Hope you can read that. Here it's 1 over x. If x is being represented, then it's going to be 8 times 4.44. 8 times 4.44. All right. And here I have the 4.44 already as a denominator. And so what's left? The 8 and the x. So I'm going to multiply 1 times 8x. So the equation becomes 4.44x plus multiply 8 times 4.44 that'll be 35.52 equals 8x. Alright, let's get all the x's on one side and see if we can solve this thing. So a good little shortcut or a rule to remember is keep the higher x alone or leave it alone and get rid of the other one by subtracting. So we're going to subtract each side by negative 4.44x. Actually, we're going to add that negative amount x or subtract it. And so here I have 8x minus 4.44x. That's going to be 3.56x. Drop down my 35.52. And I'm going to divide each side by 3.56x, and it's going to give me my answer. It's kind of strange, but it really does work. x equals 9.98 hours, okay? Almost 10 hours, just by himself, okay? Daniel takes him almost 10 hours. All right, let's look at number 22. Working together, Castell and Rob can pick 40 bushels of apples in 6.96 hours. So together, that would go over here. Had he done it alone, it would have taken Rob 15 hours. So we're going to make this first fraction represent Rob's work, 1 over 15. 
How long would it take Castell to do it alone? Well, it's probably a good idea to use C for Castell, or you can use X either way. To get rid of the fractions, we're going to multiply everything by all of those denominators. So it's going to be 15 times 6.96 times C. All right, so what's left? Well, here I have the 15, so this is going to be multiplied by 6.96C. Here I have the C already, so what's left? The 15 and the 6.96. So I'm going to multiply that together. 15 times 6.96. Hope you can read that. And here I have the 6.96 as a denominator. What's left? the 15 and the C. So that's going to leave us with 15 C over here. New equation, 6.96 C plus, multiply those two numbers together, it's going to be 149.4, hope that you're trying this along with me, equals 15 C. We're going to subtract 6.96c from each side. And our next result, 149.4 equals 8.04c. Divide each side by 8.04. And you're going to get the number of hours that it could take Castell to do the work himself. 18.58 hours. All right, so you'll be running into those kinds of questions, usually on a standardized test, and it's all about the ratios, one over the amount of time it takes someone to do the work together or alone. All right, thanks so much for watching this video, and we're gonna be moving on to a new topic about motion problems, distance equals rate times time. Check that out.